Hey guys, Valerie with the Ravens Call. Hey listen, I just wanted to bring you guys along with me. I wanted to get out of the house today and go uh, into the woods, go for a little drive. So nothing special, just wanted to get out and bring you guys along. So let's switch this camera around and show you what I am seeing. All right, you guys, here we go. Time for the mountains. I apologize for the uh, wind, if you can hear the wind. Um, I'm just using my cell phone, so. Yeah, I just felt like getting out today, you guys. I wanted to, uh, wanted to go out yesterday, but God bless, it was so hot. So hot. 90 degrees, 100 degree weather a couple of days ago. It's ridiculous. Today it looks like the clouds are um, covering up a lot of the sky, so that's good. Right now it says it's about 78 degrees. So that is like perfect weather for me. <laughs> I do not like it too hot. And of course, I don't like it too cold, so. But yeah, that heat was just too much, man. We're supposed to get some rain here pretty soon, so hopefully <coughs> we'll get some rain. Excuse me. Beautiful, beautiful trees out here. We got some pine trees, pinon trees, got some juniper. You guys might see some wild horses. There's some wild horses around here, deer, elk, coyote, rabbits, of course, squirrels. <laughs> we have a lot of um, golden eagles out here, so you guys might get a glimpse or hear some golden eagles flying around. That is the road up ahead. just taking it easy taking a nice slow cruise on the back roads the dirt roads let's see if I can play some music here I think it's gonna be mostly commercials I only have the radio going <clears throat> Yeah, it's just commercial right now. So yeah, there's a nice little breeze. Here's a water hole, you guys. We're coming up to a water hole. See any animal in there? There's a water hole right there. God, it's really gone down. That's how hot it's been. Oh well. There's a little campsite. Someone built a little fire pit there. That water hole has gone down fierce. It's been so hot. Again, you guys, I apologize for the wind if you guys are getting a lot of wind noise. I'm using my cell phone so I don't have any anything to filter out the noise, the wind. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but any of you techie people out there, let me know. I'm just a gal with a cell phone who wanted to share my little adventure with you. <laughs> I'm still drinking my coffee. I'm still trying to wake up, you guys. It's like, it's already, it's like 10 till, like it's already going to be 10 o'clock in the morning here, but I had a late start. Yesterday I wasn't feeling too good. I had some I suffer from fibromyalgia So I had a, a nasty little flare-up yesterday, and I still feel it today, but this morning I feel okay to actually go out I've been wanting to go out to the, the mountains just for a little bit So I figured I better jump on that and 
and go out before my body says, uh-uh, you gotta go back to bed. So my body right now is in a little bit of pain, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and just come out here and take a little walk in the woods. This is gonna be a short video, you guys. I just wanted to do, I don't know, we're already, what, five minutes in, a little past five minutes in. Probably do another 15 minutes uh, video of this. I just wanted to take you guys, take you guys out with me. Give you a glimpse of my world. <laughs> this is where I get my head head back on straight this is where I recharge my batteries out here in mother nature with all her magnificence my goodness you guys like to go out to the mountains you guys do you guys like to go hiking or fishing camping let me know in the comments what you guys like to do when you're out here in the woods there I'm just gonna I don't know if there's people there that looks like there's a vehicle there but that's eh, okay so we are here I am going to just do a little you here Go ahead and throw this in reverse. Right there. All right, you guys, we are here. Let me take off my seat belt here. Roll my windows up. And we're gonna head on out. stuff here you guys all right gonna lock her up So there we have it guys, we are here. We are here. We're gonna go for a little walk. I'm not sure, I think I'll go this way first. Let me see around. I think we're gonna go this way. We're gonna head, there's a little um, like off road right here. We're gonna go walk around that. It'll go up this way a little bit and then we'll come back down here. And then we'll go across the main dirt road that's right there and we'll go that way. So let's go. Let's go. Hold on, let me check this out real quick. If you guys know me by now, you know I love to collect bones, rocks, arrowheads, crystals, anything I find interesting out here. I'll grab, uh, yeah. Just a bone. Okay. All right, let's do this, you guys. See that sky, all the clouds? Nice day to be out here. I 
I like this tree right here. <laughs> Do you see that? I love the way how it's gr it grew like that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. So that right there is the main uh, dirt road that I was on. And then this is just like a little off-road and it's going to take us up to the left. So we're going to go ahead and just cruise that for a little bit. If you guys see any wildlife, let me know in the comments below. I see something else here I want to check out. I don't know what that is. Probably trash. A lot of people come out here. Sorry for the shaking, you guys. I'm like trying to get myself situated. Let me put my keys away. My keys are jingling around there. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's trash. So beautiful out here, you guys. So gorgeous. Yeah, yesterday... God, it was so weird. Um, I mean, fibromyalgia, basically, that's what happens. It, like, hits all your joints. So, like, my ankles, it start. Ouch. Sorry, I almost fell. That would have been a blooper. My ankles were hurting so bad, and they still are, but not... I I I'm forcing myself to come out here because I need to be out here. Sorry about the wind, you guys. It's a little breezy. So it started with my ankles and then um, then my knees, then my hips and my lower back and my elbows. It was so weird, my elbows and my wrists and then my neck. I was just like, oof, I'm like, I can't deal with this. So I had, a, those of you who know me, I uh, sell paparazzi jewelry as well. So I had my live stream last night and I was contemplating, should I or shouldn't I? Should I just cancel it? But I was like, heck no. You know, if I do start feeling really bad, then I'll, you know, I'll stop the live stream. But now I got to keep going. So I had pushed through that yesterday, last night. And then afterwards, I just kind of, I took some CBD oil. And uh, I have these uh, pain patches that they're natural. They have, um, I think it's red ginseng. They're red ginseng patches. Um, it has other herbs in it. I got them off online um, from, I believe it was from China or Japan. I forget from where, like the Chinese medicine. So that helps so much. So I was able to rest a little bit, which was nice. I'm just backtracking you guys, just checking behind me. Um, so I was able to sleep at least for a good solid five hours, which is nice. I think that's why I have some energy right now. <laughs> so here I am. We're just going to walk this dirt road up this little hill real quick, and then we're going to cut through the, the woods and make our way back down because I don't want to walk too far away from my vehicle. If you know what I mean. So, that keeps going all the way up. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut it right here. Or actually, you know what? Let's just keep walking on the road because I don't feel like, because my ankles are hurting. I kind of want to keep it on a level somewhat level path just in case I twist my ankle I'm not like in all that brush so we'll just walk this up a little bit more and then we'll head back the same way and then I'll take you on the other side So I'm just going to pan around you guys. I always do this, especially when I'm by myself. Those of you who go hiking alone, always take protection with you. 
and always be very uh, cautious. Keep your eyes open, your ears listen for anything out of the ordinary, and uh, know where you're going. Don't just, don't just like park somewhere and be like, oh, this looks nice, and not even know the area. Make sure you know the area that you're at, you guys. Look at this tree. Always know where you're at. Sorry guys, I have to adjust here for a minute. That's how it opens up over here. Hold on, I heard something over here behind me. All right, let's go. This road, th this is basically roads that are, were made to like cut wood. So it goes this way and then this way. I'm gonna go this way here. Check out the little wildlife bouquet right there, you guys. <sighs> we got like purple flowers growing here. There's some more purple flowers. Okay. See, this is a, where they cut down all the trees. I like how those two big pine trees just split. You see that over there? <laughs> those are huge. Yeah, so you guys, when you go hiking by yourself, always be prepared. Don't just like on a whim go somewhere without protection, food, water, um, whether it's a GPS system that you can use to guide you back or a compass or just know where you're at. Don't go somewhere where you've never been before. I mean, really do your research. Don't just go go out and about. I would go further up, you guys, but I kind of want to backtrack, so I'm going to go back down. God bless. Can you hear me breathing? That's like so how out of shape I am. I need to get back into shape, you guys. It's so hard when you have pain. You want to work out. I used to work out five days a week for like two hours straight, but now it's like on a good day I can work out. And that is not an everyday thing for me anymore. It sucks. I think that's what got me a little down on the dumps, you know. You get frustrated when you are forced out of your routine, when you are forced, you know, anything in life, when it's forced on you, when you're, when you're not prepared for it, you know, it kind of puts you on a, on a lower vibration and you're just kind of like, hmm, you're trying to figure out how you can get yourself back up, you know, raise your vibration back up. I mean, obviously it's gonna be a lifestyle that you have to you know get used to because it's now the new norm but 
you just have to figure out how to focus your energy to raise your vibration, you know, and not get stuck in that little negative low vibration vibration. Because you do that, then you're setting yourself up for failure, for depression, for bad moods, you know what I mean? And then before you know it, your life is crumbling and you don't want that. So always try to raise that vibration of yours, no matter what life throws at you. And don't avoid it. I'm going to flip this. Don't avoid anything that doesn't feel comfortable to you, whether it's a, whether you get fired from a job, whether someone breaks up with you, whether someone passes away, whatever it is, don't give up. Don't hide from it. Don't push it aside. You need to deal with it <laughs> in order for you to raise that vibration again. So just, those are your, your learning tools, you know, just absorb it, take it in, analyze it. That's what I do. I pick it apart until I can't pick it apart anymore. And then I throw it away. It's like, okay, I, I can't, you know, do anything else, what, do anything else with it. But I feel better now that I, you know, dealt with it and it's gone, you know? So, okay, enough, enough serious talk there. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there, you guys. I know a lot of people will let it consume them and they don't get out of it. You know, they let it take over and you can't do that. Sorry, adjusting, readjusting here. Yeah, don't, uh, don't let it take over you guys. Yes, allow it in so you can learn from it. You know what I mean? So you can grow. That's the only way that you will evolve. That's the only way that your spirit can survive is if you just learn as you go. Mm, so beautiful out here, you guys. Ugh, all the flies. Oh, and you don't want to mess with these mountain bugs. These bugs are like scary. <laughs> these are kind of like the horse flies where they bite you. So we're back down here, back to the main forest road. So I may, once I get back to the truck, you guys, I'm probably going to stop the video, eat some breakfast and head back home. I just wanted to go, you can see my truck over there. I just wanted to come out for a little bit, you guys. Share this experience with you. I'll be posting more videos on uh, this channel. Similar to this, I think next weekend I'm gonna take you guys to um, an old mining uh, site. Um, there's a couple of cabins out there, but I might uh, just take you to one of the cabins and explore that little area for a while. Maybe take my uh, metal detector. We'll see. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Trying to hold my camera and hold the metal detector. <laughs> Probably it's not going to work out that well. So maybe we'll scratch that. But yeah, I'll probably take you guys out there. Take you guys out there and explore. So stay tuned for that, you guys. And that's it. That is all she wrote. So beautiful out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure. It's, you know, it's funny. This is a, one of my first videos in a very long time. <laughs> and I forgot how therapeutic it is to 
I mean, basically, I'm just talking to myself on the camera, but I mean, it, it's kind of therapeutic. You know, you, you feel good afterwards. So thank you guys. Give me some likes. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be posting more videos similar to this just out and about. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I do have a little donation button there if you guys feel inclined to donate. That will help me out on my travels. So you guys, please uh, share my videos too. Let everybody know about my channel. Invite some people to, um, to like and subscribe um, if you guys like these type of adventures and you guys can give me some suggestions too if you want to go somewhere where there's more excitement not just woods <laughs> so the cabin I'm gonna take you next weekend you guys take you to next weekend is there's a little river uh, that runs through it I'm not sure if it's a seasonal uh, spring or if it's a, a year round so we'll find out next weekend so you guys thank you so much and uh, stay tuned have a good one you guys bye